Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Maryland's Department of Natural Resources has reported nearly 3,000 crab-related violations across the state throughout the past five years. There were about 27 different types of infractions, ranging from undersized crab possession to illegal harvesting methods. Possession of undersized crabs was the highest reported offense that made up nearly half of the reported violations. Possessing crabs during the closed season revealed itself to be the second most common violation, with approximately 300 reported citations during the six-year period. While Maryland's Higher Education Commission's report that the majority of Maryland's college students feel safe on campus, some local students, such as Taylor Lombre, say that they would like to see more regulations from campus security. Taylor Lombre, an 18-year-old girl who works in the Leonardtown Campus Bookstore, claims that she is worried after having a few bad encounters. Lombre says that, quote, maybe there should be more public safety come into the bookstore and stuff. The Educational Equity Task Force, consisting of school staff, administration, and members of the community, met at the Board of Education building in Leonardtown on Thursday to work on the proposed regulations they hope to one day see enforced. The equity policy draft states that their goal is to ensure that all students, regardless of their individual characteristics, will have equitable access to and benefit from high-quality instruction, social and emotional resources to become active and productive members of the community and workforce. The group hopes to accomplish that within three categories policies, partnerships and practice. During the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division game on Thursday, the Leonardtown Raiders were hosting the Patuxent Panthers and were able to jump out onto an early advantage. After scoring two goals in the first 10 minutes, Leonardtown was able to shut out the visitors and claim a 6-0 win. Raiders head coach Jennifer Henderson said, I was pleased with the way my team played tonight. I thought the girls connected passes well and some good off the ball movement. The Washington Catholic Athletic Conference is underway. The St. Mary's Riken Knights made a strong statement when playing against Bishop O'Connell on Friday night. It was Riken's homecoming game. A Knights senior, Colin Webster, said, We came out and we did what we had to do. St. Mary's Riken earned a win of 49-0. Head coach Aaron Brady said, I think after the good council game last week, losing 17-14 to a nationally ranked team, but being there, that focus and energy is what we brought here tonight. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing, signing off. off.